Seventh grade TCAP practice test, uh, the math section. This is question number 20. A class has 12 boys and 16 girls. The teacher writes each student's name on a different note card and then places the cards in a bag. If the teacher randomly selects one card from the bag, what is the probability that a boy's name will be selected? Now, once again, we have that probability thing pop up. And every one of our P words, except for the word product, which is unfortunate, the word product, of course, means multiply. But in every other case, probability, proportion, blah, 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 all that stuff generally means that we're going to set up a fraction, or which is a division, really. But in this case, I'm going to set up a ratio or fraction for probability. And if you recall from a previous video, we talked about how probability is the total number of options on the top, and then preferred, or what you'll want, on the, on the top. I said total was on the top, but it's on the bottom, obviously. Uh, total is on the bottom, and what you'll want to happen, or the preferred, is on top. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what the total number of kids we have in the class, because everybody's name got in the bag, right? So I have 12 boys and 16 girls, and we're going to assume that there aren't any people in the class who are neither or both. So 16 plus 12 will give you 28. So 28 goes on the bottom for my total. Why don't I write a 1 there? Who knows? 28. Don't make the same mistakes I make, people. Uh, and on top is the what we want to have happen. And what we want in this scenario is a boy's name. So we have to think of all the boys in the classroom, and there are 12 boys. So I just set up a nice little fraction for myself and do 12 over 28. And if you're using TI-30X, it would be 12. Then you go up into the ABC button and type 28. And you get 3 over 7, so the probability that I'm going to get a boy's name is 3 out of 7, which makes a lot of sense, because the other numbers seem really small to me. So let's go back just for a second and scout some of the other answers to see if they even made any sense ahead of time. We should have scouted ahead of time, right? This is what led to Custer's demise. But anyway, in F, it says 1 out of 28. Well, the number of boys to girls is pretty close, so 1 boy out of 28 doesn't make any sense because there's 12 possible boys that could win. Uh, in G's the same thing. There's not enough boys to girl. There's not that so many more girls to boys that I would think that a guy only has one chance out of 12. It makes no sense. Uh, the 3 out of 7 thing looks normal. 3 fourths, maybe, maybe not. So you do need to set up the proportion here, but at least you could have scattered a couple of the answers out really early on, saved yourself the headache of picking them on accident and making a bad score. So not a big problem.